What's your biggest celebration right now? Right the culture of my staff. They're just so resilient. It's a wonderful feeling to know that you work alongside with people like that. All right, there it is. You love those kids and care about they them. They do. Both. They'll do anything for them. You guys are fifth grade? Yeah. Mm. Out of school? <laughs> I, I got out of school a little while ago. My mom, yeah. I mean, my grandma went back. You think I'm younger than 22? I don't look a day over 20. <laughs> hey, that's the biggest compliment I had all week. Sounds like y'all are having fun. Food, well, we're playing a food chain game. Yes. So we learned a little bit about food chain. Well, which one is it? This one. That one eats this one. Great job. How have the teachers responded to the Wednesdays? Uh, the release? They love them and they needed them. Because there's a lot Great. of additional planning that they have to do mm -hmm. because of the circumstances we had, right? Yes. Our parents have been very supportive. They get it. <laughs> they understand because they're struggling in their own ways too, right? They've loved on our teachers. We have such great parents here. That's great. Oh, uh, here, let's hit Ms. Robuski's class. She's got little animals. Notice the animals on her desk. They came to check out your virtual classroom. Yeah, what do you see? And look at your physical classroom with no kids <laughs> in it. But there's something sitting at the desk, right? Mm -hmm. Well, normally they're reading buddies for the kids. When I have in-person kids, they read to them, and they're from my travel. What do the kids think about them? Oh, they love them. They love hearing the stories when I get a new one. And I told my my virtual kids, um, I was like, oh, here's one for each of you guys sitting wow, in my classroom since y'all are virtual. So we walked around one day and I was like, here's Roslyn and here's Easton. And, uh, they thought it was hilarious. I love that. Let me make myself big because we have a special guest. Hi guys. A couple special guests in here. We have Miss Fleming. Can y'all say hi, Miss Fleming? Hi, you guys. And we have Dr. Gearing over here. Can y'all say hi? <laughs> hi, guys. Good to see you over there. <laughs> they were just watching our isopods video with us. So I'm really grateful, number one, to the community for allowing us to do early releases. This is a huge bonus for our teachers. It gives them the time and the space that they need to be prepared for high quality instruction for our students. And that's what we're seeing today. So even though it's early release, students are not missing out on any of their instruction. They're just getting slightly fewer minutes in each of the areas as they go through their day to day. But it does create a really consistent opportunity for our teachers to work with each other on these high quality learning strategies for all of our students. 